Thursday night action from Gatone Stadium as Vineland hosts Clearview. The Pioneers enter at 1-1 one and, one and are coming off a win against Roxbury. The Fighting Clan comes in at 1-3 and, and look to make it two in a row after a win against Mainland. Vineland with the football midway through the first. Caleb Gandy fires short to Levi Manson. He finds a lane and he will take care of the rest. It's a 53-yard touchdown for the senior, and the Fighting Clan takes a 7-0 lead with 4-17 left in the first. The Fighting Clan get back to work near the end of the first. Gandy goes deep down the sideline, and Manson climbs the ladder to bring it down. He stays on his feet and runs it in for the touchdown. It's a 54-yard strike from Gandy to Manson, and Vineland leads 14-0 after one. Vineland on the move early in the second. Anthony Arthur gets the handoff up the middle. He's hit at the line. The ball comes loose and Clearview recovers. The Pioneers defense coming up with a big play to keep the Fighting Clan off the board. The Fighting Clan get the ball right back. They go back to Arthur on the ground. He makes a pair of nice moves to get into the open field and he's taken down at the 15 to get Vineland into the red zone. After a clear view tackle for loss, it's second and long from the 22. Gandy drops to pass. He goes over the middle to Jonathan Tony for the touchdown. It's the third touchdown on the night for Caleb Gandy, and Vineland leads 21-0 with four minutes left in the half. The ensuing kickoff is fielded by Bobby Counselor. He finds some running room going back to the far sideline, and it's a foot race. Counselor gets tracked down at the 25-yard line after a 55-yard return, and the Pioneers have a great chance to get on the board at the end of the half. Clearview faces 4th and 10 from the 12. Chad Black rolls right and fires towards the sticks, but Tony knocks it away to end the threat by the Pioneers. Vineland leads 21-0 at the break. The Pioneers start the third with the football. Black fakes and looks to go to the air. He goes deep down the field, but Levi Manson picks it off with room to run. Manson steps out of bounds at the 31, giving Vineland great field position. The senior is having himself a great night on both sides of the ball. Vineland faces fourth and long after the turnover. Gandy looks to pass, starts to scramble out to his left, he comes back over the middle for Ryan Williams Jr. And he powers it in for the touchdown. It's a 24-yard strike, the fourth of the game for Gandy. And Vineland leads 28-0. The Fighting Clan are on the doorstep later in the third. Braylon Blakely gets the ball up the gut and he punches it in for the touchdown. The Junior extends the lead for the Fighting Clan, and Vineland leads 35-0 after three. Clearview looking to get on the board in the fourth. Black rolls to the near sideline and throws it up to Forrest Love in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. It's a 15-yard touchdown for the Junior to make it 35-7, but that is as close as Clearview would get. Vineland wins for the second week in a row. 35-7 is your final. Caleb Gandy had a terrific night through the air, throwing for four touchdowns. Levi Manson reeled in two touchdowns and came up with an interception on defense. The Fighting Clan improved to 2-3 and three on the year and will be on the road to face Timber Creek next week. Clearview falls to 1-2 and two and are scheduled to host Washington Township next Thursday. From Vineland, I'm James Mooney, JerseySportsZone.com.